our bamboo. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I know somebody a lot like you right now. Oh! <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome to the video, you wonderful, beautiful people. We've got, I think, is gonna be the biggest clutch of eggs we've ever had, ever. And we're gonna go down there, we're gonna check them out. And uh, I'm gonna bring, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited, can you tell? I'm super stoked about this. So uh, before we go into the snake room and I show you guys and we pull the clutch, well actually we'll go in there. But I wanted to talk to you guys about something, uh, about something that's gonna be kind of, that I think is gonna be a lot of fun. Should be really epic and good. And uh, don't forget to get your cocoa blocks, but let's do this. If you guys watched last week's uncut, not this week, last week's Uncut, then you know that I was talking about debating, how much I really enjoy debating and debating either side of either argument and that I really wanted to do it. And, and Clint from Clint's Reptiles watched that video and he reached out to me and was like, hey, I, I'll play. And I was like, sweet. And I was like, all right, so, so here's the idea. You pick a topic and then nice flannel, flannel boy. <laughs> well, I thought I'd seen you for the last time. Just look in the mirror, dumbass. Why are you always so mean to me? I'm always nice to you. No, you're not. You're just scared of me. So you try not to make me mad. Which yeah. is smart. Smart. That's why I'm going to debate Clint. You know, he's a lot smarter than you. Says you. Yeah, he's got a PhD. What do you have? A high school diploma? That doesn't mean I won't be good at debating him. He told me himself that he is easily persuaded if someone presents facts. And you know facts. <laughs> That's not the point. I'm, I'm very good at acting like I know what I'm talking about. You should know this. And that can be even more persuasive than facts. Like the time you compared the spider ball python to a kid with autism. I specifically said that I knew that I was comparing apples to apples, or oranges, apples to oranges, whatever it is, <laughs> but that there were a few correlations, especially in the situation I'd presented. Seems to me like you didn't have much conviction as to whether you were for or against breeding spider ball pythons. Yeah, I said that I thought that more research needed to be done. Anyway, that's the whole point of this debate, to be able to argue the case for either side. What are you going to do? Flip a coin to see which side you'll be presenting for? Yeah, that's, a, that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> I was joking. That sounds ridiculous. I mean, honestly, the idea sounds pretty cool, but the thought of you doing it with Clint sounds ridiculous. Remember that time he had to correct you about coral glow and banana ball pythons in the comment section of your own video about coral glow that, and banana ball pythons? That was one simple mistake. And I pinned his comment so it could be added to the good information that was in the video. You mean, of the facts? Yes, of the facts. Are you guys hearing this? This guy's been feeding you facts. Please don't talk to them. I've spared them from you this whole time. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. Don't apologize for me. I posted plenty of videos without you. You what? Hey, you should have seen the live stream I did a couple weeks ago after you cut your hair. What? <laughs> oh my, I can't believe you did this to us. You're shameless. So you're a stripper now? What, what else haven't you been telling me? It's none of your concern, hat boy. None of my concern. When you do crazy things like that, it makes me look bad. You've always been ashamed of me and I've, had enough. You act like you're so nice and can't do anything wrong, like you're just the greatest thing since nipples. I never claimed to be as good as nipples. Sure. You've already told that to everybody. Just to pretend like you know what you're talking about. Nobody believes you now. You know what, dude? It's always the way this goes. Every time, every time. Just, just stay cool, man. Just stay cool. Just, he's so uptight. He never wants to come out and party with me. I always try to tell him, like, just, just relax, dude. I mean, is this the guy? This is the guy that's gonna have the debate with facts and, and be like mellow and level-headed and be able to like have a calm and cool discussion? He's violent. He's violent. And uh, I'm tired of it. And I'm, you know, I didn't start that. He jumped on me. You saw it. He jumped on me. We gotta, pl we gotta, we gotta clutch the bowl. That's Dot, our bamboo. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I know somebody a lot like you right now, but I'm gonna do you just like I did him and neutralize the situation. Beautiful, 
So dot here was paired with a pastel and she bamboo. No, sorry, pastel and she clown. She's the bamboo. And uh, so everything in this clutch is gonna be 100% het clown. And hopefully we get some nice pastel and she bamboos in there because I, I need a couple. I want a couple. Need is a strong word. I, I, I want a couple. And I think I should be able to grab her eggs. It looks like she's had a little time to relax here. Um, and now she's in defensive mode. This old hat boy hadn't forced us to uh, take extra long for that little discussion we could have had. I thought I could have. Gone. Anyway, let's forget about him. Uh, we're going to get here off these eggs. We're going to see how many we got and see what we got going on. This is like our last clutch of the season. It's like a little surprise clutch. Hi, right, my hand's over here. I'm touching you back here, but you're not going to bite me because I'm coming from behind. I'm coming from behind. She's empty. She definitely laid all those eggs. There's nothing left in her. I'll put her off to the side for a moment. Good job, Mama. That's a good job. Well done. You're a champion. And you look great still. Look at that. No slugs, guys. No slugs. That is... Oh, you know, stuck to the bottom of the tub a little bit. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten good eggs. That's the biggest clutch we've had ever. And there's no slugs, all good eggs. <laughs> it's, it's, I think we need to party. Maybe I should go wake him up and, nah, nah, he's a dick. Yeah, awesome. Ten good eggs. Well, I am excited, my friends. Um, shoot. Thank you guys for tuning in with us today. If you made it this far in the video, make sure that you touch the like or the dislike button. If you're voting for me, hit the like. If you're voting for him, hit the dislike. And uh, yeah, that's it. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And we'll see you in the next video, which is gonna be with Mr. Dave Kaufman on the road again. All right, you guys have a great one. This is fantastic. Uh, real quick before we get out of here for certain, uh, we got packages. Yeah, and I don't even know. Oh, I got my dad opener. I got my package opener. What's in that? All Cusco kids. Yep, it says for all Cusco kids. <laughs> Chicken poop. Chicken poop? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Nice tea. Whoa! I'm Thank you, Shelby. <laughs> That's in the tree. <laughs> Whoa! Nice. Thanks, Shelly. Loads of fun. Thanks, Watch out, T. Whoa, wait till T's out of the way, doofoo. Yeah, get out of the way. <laughs> These things are sweet. <laughs> you almost got Noah. Yeah. Jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on top of it, Leia. Oh, don't break it. <laughs>